Hi everybody, it's Rebecca Virginia, and today I'm going to show you two DIYs to transform the carvable pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. Here's what you'll need for the first DIY. Start by removing the tag and stem from the carvable pumpkin. The stem comes out really easy and is just on a little toothpick. Next, take a brush and paint the pumpkin white. I had to do two coats to make sure the orange color didn't show through. Now here's the fun part where you get to be creative. Take a paint in the color of your choice. I chose this sage green because a lot of my fall decor is already this shade. And don't worry about full coverage when you're painting. You want a little bit of that white to show through to get the farmhouse feel. To distress the pumpkin, put a little brown paint on your brush and paint in the indentations. It will look a little harsh at first, but we're going to blend the paint before it dries. While the paint is still wet, take a paper towel or tissue and remove as much or as little of the brown color until you get your desired look. If you feel like you overdid it and added too much brown, don't worry, you can just take some of that sage green paint that you used before and go over the line to make it a little less harsh. Next, I'm using brown paint and the dry brushing technique to add bits of brown all around my pumpkin to give it that distressed look. Now I'm taking floral picks from the Dollar Tree and inserting them in the middle first and then working my way out. No glue is needed in this step. The flowers easily poked into the pumpkin. A flower arranging technique I like to follow is to always have a thriller, a filler, and a spiller. If you're not a pro at arranging flowers like me, this is a really great technique to follow to make it look very professional. These are my completed pumpkins. The one in the middle I added a cupcake pick to, as well as jute in the indentations of the pumpkin. Make sure that you add the jute after the pumpkin is dry, but before you add all of the flowers. The last one I added Spanish moss to, to give it more of an earthy feel. Next up is our sweater pumpkin DIY. Here's what you'll need. Just like our previous DIY, we're going to start by removing the stem on our pumpkin. Next, we're going to paint the stem of the pumpkin. I chose a dark brown color, but you can pick any color you like. Because I'm using a white sweater, I'm going to paint my entire pumpkin white so that none of the bright orange shows through. If you choose a darker color sweater, you can skip this step. Take a pencil and draw a small circle onto the top of your pumpkin. The smaller the better. You can always enlarge it if you need to. Now I'm carving out the hole in my pumpkin. I chose to use scissors, but you can use a knife or a traditional pumpkin carving set. Now I'm taking my white sweater, which is about 20 by 20 inches, and wrapping it around the pumpkin, then tucking in the top part of the sweater into the hole that we created. This took me a couple of times to get it right to make sure that the sweater wasn't lopsided, so just keep playing around with it until you get it in a position that you like. Once you like how your sweater is looking, flip it upside down, and we're going to use the same method of carving out a hole in the bottom of the pumpkin as we used on top. Repeat the same process we used on top by pulling out the sweater and tucking the ends into the hole that we created. To further secure the sweater to my pumpkin, I took a little bit of hot glue at the seams and just pressed it down so that the sweater wouldn't come undone. Then we're going to add back in the stem of our pumpkin. Next you can embellish your pumpkin however you like. I chose to use some buffalo check ribbon to make a bow and then I added some greenery with leaves and boxwood. And that completes your sweater pumpkin DIY. I placed the pumpkin in a Dollar Tree wire basket and added some leaves. 
Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep searching, keep creating.